most 3D modelers um, shy away from and it's a really good technique um, to create uh, curved shapes um, of course there are a lot of good techniques but this one I want to concentrate on showing you how to use splines and so what we're going to do is start off but with a uh, Audi TT because it's a really round car um, and I thought I would use that so uh, I'm not going to show you in this video how to set up blueprints um, lots of videos on YouTube about how to set up blueprints so if you're unfamiliar with how to do that uh, go in and uh, watch a few videos on how to set up some blueprints in Max. Okay, first off we want to start with is go into your shapes uh, menu and go to line and let's click three spots there and then what you want to do is zoom out because you want to see where this line went. There it is. And then pull that to the front. And let's zoom back in. Okay, and then let's get that as close as we can. Let's go up to the Modify panel, hit Click Line, and then Vertex. And then let's click these individual vertices and kind of drag them where they need to be. Now this right one. Let's click, right click that, convert that to a bezier, and then we're just going to go up to the uh, rotate tool, and probably in the top view and the front view, we can just adjust that curve, so we get a nice curve there. Okay, go back to move tool, and just kind of move these points around until they fit that shape pretty well. And if you need to, you can go up here to the Scale tool and just kind of scale that point out a bit and then move it up. And if you need to, go back into Rotate to get it to fit that shape pretty well. There we go. Okay. And I think in this view, I might just drag it down just slightly. Alright, then we want to go back up to our uh, Shapes tab, click on Line again, and we want to put a line in the center so that we can establish the roundness of this fender. So we're going to go here, here, and here, okay, and then let's uh, drag this forward to about mid fender. Okay, and then let's go up to modify vertex. And let's begin adjusting these vertices slightly. Okay, let's pull that over there. Let's pull this one up a little bit. This one over some. Okay, and then let's click this middle one, right click convert it to a bezier and then adjust that curve and again if you need to make it a little larger hit the scale tool okay and just adjust that curve until it looks about right okay then we're going to go back up again to your uh, shapes tab click on line one more time and we're going to add another one right here so we're going to click click, click, okay, and then we'll grab the move tool, move that into place, go up to modify, and vertex, and then drag these spline, or these vertices out to where they need to be, let's hit right click on the middle one, go to bezier, let's go to the uh, rotate tool, and rotate that until you get a nice curvature there. Okay, so now what we want to do is grab the first spline that we created right here, and we're going to right click, and we're going to convert that to an editable spline. Then we're going to attach these other two splines, okay, and then we're going to go up here 
to Vertex, go down here uh, to Connect and Refine, and then we're going to click, 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 and then right, uh, right click to close that, and you'll see we have this curve that we've created here in the middle uh, of this fender to, so we get this nice roundness. Okay, and let's go back to the line tool, and in your left view, let's click and create the top of this fender where it meets the hood. Okay, and let's move this one over like so. Let's go up to modify, vertices, grab these vertexes and start to align those correctly where they need to be. Okay. And then click on the, r the middle one, right click, convert it to a bezier, and then adjust that. And if you need to, scale it up a bit so that that curve is nice. And if you need to here, different view. Adjust it in two views if needed. Okay, there you have that curve. Now let's go up here to this line. Let's click these segments that have already been attached and attach this one. Okay, then go back to Vertex and you'll see there are two separate points there. Go down here to Fuse and Weld. Okay, so we fused and weld those and then right here where there are two vertices we're going to fuse and weld those. Okay, so we're getting there. Let's go back up, click on the line tool again, and let's create another spline right here on the outside edge of that fender. And then let's move that one into position as well. Back to modify, vertex, and again, just adjust these vertices to the outer shape of this fender here. Okay, click on the right or the middle polygon or the middle point, bezier, and again adjust that curvature to get something nice curved. Okay, let's grab this point back here and just kind of drag it in a little bit like so. Alright, and again, grab the line tool, grab all the lines, and then we're going to attach this line that we just created. Okay, then we go to Vertex, and again, we're going to grab those two, Fuse and Weld, then we're going to go right here, Fuse and Weld, and then these two in the back, Fuse and Weld. Okay, Back to the line tool to create this last spline. And one, two, three points right there. And let's uh, drag that up to where it needs to be. And go back to the modify vertex. Okay, and we're going to click on that middle point and turn it into a bezier. And we're going to adjust the shape of that curvature and then we're going to grab these individual points here kind of drag those up and get that shape that we want okay and again click on the line select all the point the lines that have just been created prior click on this new line to attach it go to vertex mode grab those two points in the back fuse and weld and then these two, and fuse, and weld. Okay, so, now you can see the shape that we've created here. Alright, so what we need to do is do some more connecting. So, let's go here, and click, 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 right click to close that. Again, refine, and go here, click, 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 and right click to close that, okay, and then let's rotate around, see what we've got, 
that. Okay, and it looks like we might be able to kind of grab these. Let me lift those up slightly. Grab these, lift those up slightly. Make sure we've got that curvature going. Pretty nice. All right, now what we want to do is while in line mode, go here to your modifiers, go down to surface, come up here to your material editor, add a gray surface to that. If it stays black, hit flip normals. And there you have your fender. And you can uh, make sure that your steps are set to two so you don't get too many polygons when you convert this. And here's your editable poly. Okay. Nice. And then what I like to do is, because I like neat topology, is go back up here and in your edit of poly, click on your vertex. Okay. And then go down here to constraints, click on edge constraints, and just kind of straighten these points up. I just like to have straight topology as much as possible um, just because I think it looks better and so we can you can go all the way through this whole thing and straighten all of these up if you like I'm not going to do all of them I'm just going to do these just a couple just to show you Anyway, so there's that. Turn off vertex mode, and then to see how it really looks, go up here, set up a material that has some uh, specular and gloss on it, apply that. Okay, then you can see here if you've got bumps. Let's go down here to subdivision, click on NERMS, and you have, you can see it's nice and smooth. And if you want, you can go up here to relax just crank that up. That'll relax all those polygons for you so you have a nice smooth surface. Um, and you'll see here that this is not sharp but that can be worked out as you uh, as you go along when you're building the rest of the car. When you build the hood you can add another line of resolution in there and you can also uh, adjust all these points. After you do a smooth it will uh, kind of pull the points away from the edges so you can go back in and grab these points push and pull them around until you get them back exactly where you want. And then I usually turn off NERMS while I'm uh, still working on the rest of the car. And uh, when we come back, we'll uh, take this fender and continue on to create the hood uh, of the vehicle. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.